Welcome to another Pokemon World's Adventure in Hawaii. I'm in a place called Trainer Town, which is like a little Pokemon village filled with biomes and they're playing the Pokemon episodes and movies. And we're gonna have some eggs right off the rip. I have some random eggs to hatch. I got a two kilometer. It's a Gothita. I need Tom around, dude, because we hatched a super, super rare shiny in our last adventure. That was a great time if you guys haven't seen it. Got a Quaxley right there. 10 kilometer egg is a Mora. And then finally, come on, Pokemon Village, not bringing any luck. This is awesome. Awesome, man. There's like cornhole over here. There's like face painting, a bunch of pictures, a bunch of little areas to hang out. I feel like I'm in a Pokemon movie right now, but let's check some IVs on these guys. Gothita's very good. Amora, Skrelp, Quaxley, Amora. Okay, nothing crazy, but obviously worth it. Here's a quick look at where we're at. This is like the hotel of where everything's kind of going down at. Not the convention center, that's crazier, but this is also a good time. We've got a lot of gyms, a lot of stops, a lot of catches. Speaking of the convention center though, we're gonna head over there because I have a very special lucky trade lined up for today and obviously a lot of fun things to do. But I need to finish this special research. This is the Team Rocket special research in which we battled and caught the Shadow Cresselia for the first time ever. That was awesome. And I forgot to finish the research as usual. So let's claim all this good stuff right here. And ladies and gentlemen, let's get a Aerodactyl. This is not the Hundle, but this is a good IV one, I think. Let's go ahead and take it down. How we doing? Yeah, that is a three star. Very nice. And to finish off the research, 4,500 Stardust. Actually, sorry, 9,500 Stardust, 6,000 XP, and some TMs. Very nice rewards. GG's. And speaking of research, we're going to finish the GoFest research finally today. I feel like this is a good day to do it. So we're going to get this done. And ladies and gentlemen, the world's luck is already kicking off. Off. We got a shiny Feebas on the beach. How about it? 129 CP. Let me pineapple that. This is a shiny you don't see every day. I think I got one semi recently for one of the events it was a part of, but this is a really, really dope, underrated, and rare shiny. So we're going to take this down right there. Let's go. What? Why is that even spawn? Oh, I guess I'm on a beach. That makes sense. Why is it shiny? That's a better question. There we go. How we doing? One star. 15, uh, 6, 7. Does not matter. Epic moment. Another shiny. Man, the Hawaii luck is real. I'm getting hundos galore hatching shinies catching shinies let's go just pulling up to the convention center right now and ladies and gentlemen shiny world's pikachu 2024 is live in the game in another time zone right now this is the brand new shiny pikachu it has got to be the coolest shiny pikachu we've gotten in pokemon go at least in terms of world's costumes this is awesome it's got the scooby gear it is amazing it's going to be available with the world's event we're going to get spawns here which is awesome and i think that's an exclusive thing to world's hawaii but it's going to be in raids it's going to be in research and speaking of research there's a world's premium time research for five dollars this is what you get you get encounters with skarmory vigoroth stunfisk charge bug carbink lantern lickitung azumarill and cresselia which is kind of cool you also get 25,000 stardust and one raid pass now is that worth five dollars ladies and gentlemen drum roll please Absolutely not. That is not worth $5. Even if you are a PvP player, this is great candies to go for, but at the end of the day, it's only a handful of candies. It's just not worth $5 at all. This should be a $2 research, maybe $3 at max, but they could have added another raid patch, something like that. I don't know. Now, of course, I'm going to get it, so you guys don't have to, so we'll see how this research is going to go, but that's that, and uh, it's not the best deal, but it's going to be exciting either way. Okay, so a little change of plans. We are back at Pokemon, what's it called? Trainer Town? Pokemon Trainer Town. We didn't go to the convention center because it was closed today which is interesting but whatever but we're back here and Tom and I have a lucky trade in just a little bit and as you guys can see maybe back there there's a massive lagoon it is absolutely pokefied and it is awesome and we're gonna mob out there and do our lucky trade in probably the greatest environment to do it in so wish me luck hopefully it goes well but also I just took down Sierra. Not going to be a shiny shadow right there. I have battled a lot of leaders in my trips and nothing yet. Down that goes right there. 208 CP. One star. Not too bad. But we're chilling at Trainer Town. There's a lot of spawns, a lot of stops. I've caught most of it. I also did a random shadow manectric raid. Why is that a raid? But I don't know. It was free and I actually kind of want the hundo, so I'm down. But yeah, that's the lagoon I'm talking about. You guys will get a closer look in a second here. I want to get this trade going. We have arrived at the Pokemon Lagoon and we're with the cruise ship here. Gonna do, again, probably the most beautiful lucky trade I have ever done in my entire life Thank you. in front of a, no not because of you in front of a lagoon in hawaii with pokemon worlds going on i mean you count i guess but <laughs> tom needs the shiny pokemon i've got the shiny pokemon we're gonna hook him up with a shiny fampy and i have yes, this i'll give you a big one right here Ooh. because i feel like a nice person today Sweet. and it's a is beautiful it a time i'm fun it is a male okay do you cool. need that yes why yeah, because it's got bigger tusks the female one's got smaller tusks i have a shiny female one i need the big tusks size does not matter ladies and gentlemen it's let's go ahead and do this 
Trade. And I'll be trading for a shiny, legendary Regirock. Listen, Thank you could you. argue I'm getting robbed. Let me know in the comments down below. Am I getting robbed in this trade or not? I love Regirock. If I can get a hundo, better yet a shundo. Matter of fact, if I get a shlundo right here, I will take off my shoes and jump in that lagoon. You have my word. Oh, yeah. my, I mean, I'll take my shirt off too, yes. obviously. Yeah, I'm not going to get my shirt please, wet. Please, please. Yeah. I don't ask for much. <laughs> but let's make this happen. Yeah. I will literally, no joke, jump in that water. Might just do it with my shoes on. I don't even care at this yeah. point. Here we go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get Tom's first. Please. I need a Shundo Dawn fan, dude. Shundo would be amazing right now, so obviously, at all really times. It's a beautiful shiny. 904, that's okay. the Shundo. Congratulations. Is it really? Yeah, jump in the water. Oh, oh, very good, bad, though. though. Very not good. Not bad. I like the way this guy looks. What's the IVs? Uh, IVs were there 12, 12, 14, 14 15. 15. Not yeah. too bad. Not bad. Not, not bad. Not too bad. I'll take it. Thank all right. You, man. All right. Appreciate yeah, yeah. 1743. Sounds good. I think that's it. Nah. Yeah, 1743. Is not like always the Shundo? Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, God. <laughs> it actually does kind of sound good. Sorry, man. 12, 15, 12. A nice, uh, funny IV set if you turn it sideways. We waited a few oh, months for that. Man, yeah. <laughs> We've been lucky friends for like, oh, you know, honestly, before New York, I think. But yeah. uh, wow, Sorry, nice. Bro. Prettiest lucky trade of all time for what, you know? Thanks, I guess. Nice. No problem. Appreciate yeah. the Bambi, dude. Yeah. Enjoy that retro rock. Robbery. And ladies and gentlemen, check this out. We talked about it earlier. This is the new costume Pikachu. Oh, wait, let me buy a raid pass real quick. Okay. This is the new costume Pikachu hopping in a remote raid right here from Australia, I think. It's not live in Hawaii where the actual event is, but it's live in other time zones, which is funny. Whatever. I know I say this a lot, but you're going to hear it from everybody. This is going to be one of the rarest shinies in the game because it's out once and that is it. It's never going to come back. We're never going to get a world's 2024 Pikachu ever again let's hop in the raid let's make it happen and here we go there it is the new costume pikachu let's go ahead and take this thing down this is gonna be an amazing shiny this is the coolest costume pikachu i think we've ever got especially for worlds like i said earlier down it goes right there can we get the shiny can we get the hundo i got them both when i went to london worlds two years ago let's see if we can make it happen again here today if not today then this weekend but let's see what happens down goes raid number one we have 24 balls we're not gonna need them three two one no not gonna be a shiny dude this looks amazing that looks incredible 518 cp let's go ahead and golden raspberry this thing that is awesome give me the nice throw right there 518 wow world's pikachu is here now i don't know if this is good i actually have zero idea 518 cp pikachu is that the hundo ladies and gentlemen no oh Fat L, 13, 13, 13. That is hilarious. That is not the hundo, but that is the brand new Pikachu from Worlds that we're gonna be hunting all weekend. Trying to get the shiny, trying to get the hundo. That was attempt number one. I'm glad I got a day zero raid. Fingers crossed we get some more. Let's go. And here we are hatching two five kilometer eggs. We got a vanillite for no reason. I keep hatching these. I don't know why. I've been drifting a lot during this trip and walking a lot during this trip. So I've hatched a lot of eggs. Here's the vanillites, not good and not good at all. That was worth a shot. It was worth recording. We hatched a shiny yesterday. Yesterday, so you never know. Okay, we're at the beach and they're opening Pokemon cards on the beach. Shout out to Philly Beats, but we just took down a Thunderous and are not getting the shiny 2334. That sounds good, but honestly, I don't know. Gonna have to throw way better than that to catch this, but let's try to make it happen. I actually don't have many shiny Thunderous. I have raided this a ton, by the way. I think I have like 400 XL candies, so I would love to get this hundo. I'm gonna be raiding this throughout the weekend as well, to be honest, but obviously still trying to raid that Pikachu. Pikachu is my biggest goal. Now, luckily it is global available uh, so don't have to like s try hard this weekend but getting it in worlds is especially special come on thunder that's the worst throw of all time sun is also absolutely beaming right now hoping for a little bit of a tan here 2334 thunderous talk to me and down it goes right there on the beach man on the beach down goes thunderous 2334 talk to me that is a three star 10 14 14 it's good not good enough but it's good fast forward to a new day we have things to do but first shiny manky full odds I think Thanks, Shiny Manky right here. Let's go ahead and grab this thing. 299 weather boosted right there. Bada bang, bada boom. Live Shiny Manky. You'd love to see that action. Honestly, Shiny Manky, I was just talking about this the other day, is a really rare shiny. Let's find out how many I have in just a second here. Also, my first catch of the day, by the way. Donna goes right there. How we doing? Manky. IVs on. It is a one star. That is a 12.65. Definitely not great, but again, a really rare shiny for your boy. 
Oh, I have eight of them. Okay, well, it's still a rare shiny. It's still full odds. It's still awesome, but I had more than I thought. Although I feel like some of these are traded to me. Are, are some of these traded to me? No, they're literally all mine. Okay, well, it's still rare, guys. Oh, there you go. One of them was traded. <laughs> Either way, a full odds shiny is awesome. GG's Mankey. But we're here to finish up the GoFest research, and in that GoFest research, we needed to power up Pokemon. So I saved this for this moment. I have a 100% IV Lucky Vaporeon from a long time ago. I acquired this in 2019, and I realized I never 50 max it. So let's go ahead and give it two quick power ups. Bada bing, bada boom. And there is a 100% IV 50 max Vaporeon in the collection. Why was I so late on that? Doesn't matter. We made it happen. Let me know in the comments down below if that's the best move set. I'm assuming it could be, but I don't know. And that was my sixth Hundo Evolution. I just need Leafeon and a regular Eevee. And I'm missing one more. What am I missing? Oh, Flareon. Yeah, I'm missing Flareon. So a couple more, and I have the entire collection of Hundos. That'd be awesome. Highlighted by this Hundo costume. Espeon level one that I got in New York GoFest. What a catch. But anyways, GoFest research is done. Let's go ahead and claim all this right here. 10 Necrozma candy, 10 Cosmog candy, 5 Cosmog XLs is huge. And then to finish it off, another 25 Necrozma, 1,000 Solar Fusion Energy, another 25 Cosmog candy, and we're not done. I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were done. Power of Pokemon 20 times, fuse Necrozma, and win 5 raids. I don't have 5 raids to do. If I get raid invites, if I have raids to do, I'll get it done. I'm sure I will. But I'll definitely do those first two tasks in a second here. Let's also finish up up the GoFest other research, the dawn of a new discovery, because we have an encounter in here and I honestly don't know what it's gonna be. Silver Pineapple, Golden Raspberry, Encounter. Whoa, whoa, a Cosmog? Wait, why? Why are we? Also, the background changed. How many Cosmogs have we gotten Pokemon Go at this point? I feel like this is like my fourth or fifth one, but I'm down. 171 doesn't sound good. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think this is gonna be a good one, but it's another Cosmog. This is a very rare legendary, right? I think it's a legendary Pokemon. I don't think it's mythical. Anyways, Cosmog is. <laughs> I have so many of them. They're all dog water. They're all dog water. Uh, two star Cosmog right there is definitely, definitely very bad. Gotta be better. 13, 10, 11. It is what it is. It's a cool catch, I guess. Yeah, got a good amount in the collection and they're all pretty bad. Except for what we got out of this same research a few days ago, the sh Gosh, 98 Solgaleo with the catch card background, special background thing is amazing. It's beautiful. I need a 50 Maxis. I really should, huh? I mean, that is just too epic. That is unreal, man. But anyways, what's at the end of this research? Explore a kilometer, battle on a raid, earn 2,000 XP. Okay, so from that, we do get another encounter and a lot of other goodies. And I actually thought the last stage was going to be all completed, and I guess it's not. So change of plans. We're not going to finish this today, but we're going to work on it, and we're going to get it done soon. I am excited. I have not spoiled myself. I don't know anything about this research, so I don't know what that encounter is going to be. Um, although we do have some incredible rewards here. Rare Candy XLs, Elite TMs. There's a bunch of goodies. We'll get it done at some point. No rush. I mean, it's GoFest research. We're like a month late, two months late. <laughs> but you know what they say, better late than never. As we get a Pikachu raid invite, costume Pikachu raid invite. Let's go ahead and join this thing right here and see if we can get lucky. And here we are again, looking to get one of the rarest shinies in the game, the brand new world's costume Pikachu. Let's go ahead and make it happen. Bada bing, get the earthquake off. There we go. And down goes Pikachu right there. 527. That's a good IV one, but we're looking to get the one of the newest, rarest shiny Pokemon in the game, the world's Pikachu. Come on. We finished the battle on a raid. We earned some XP. We're making progress. Can we get the Pikachu? Ladies and gents, three, two, one. I can be shiny. Better luck next time, but again, 527 is still pretty solid. Anyways, down it goes. It's a 93% IV, cost in Pikachu. I'll take it, no problem with that. But just like that, a lot of progress has been made, so we're gonna get this done soon, no problem about it. But more importantly, the world's adventures are coming out, and they're gonna be bangers. Make sure you guys subscribed, and I'll see you soon.